Hi guys, welcome to the long awaited full barn tour of Happy Valley Stables. I know it's been a long time coming with this and a lot of people have been requesting it and I keep having to say, no, there's not a full barn tour filmed. I have like an overview and I have a couple like tours of specific parts of the barn, like the shed or like this barn, but um, not anything of the full stables. So I'm really excited to post this and I'm excited for everybody to check it out. So it might be a little bit of a longer video, but I know people have been wanting it. So bear with me and you can skip ahead to the part you wanna watch or whatever if you need to. Hi guys, it's editing Lydia here. And I just wanna say that if I don't say otherwise, you can pretty much assume I have made whatever is in this video. I've made about 99% of the things in the barn, except for the riders. And honestly, I've made some of the riders. So most of it is mine. And um, I will try and credit any creators that, have, um, that I've bought things from or brought in things from. Um, also, I'd like to just say that the dimensions of the farm are about 150 square feet um, in terms of like floor space. I feel like that's kind of something people often wonder about and also the farm that is located in my basement. Okay, back to the actual barn tour now. <laughs> so this is the entrance and as you can see here is John's truck and then up here we have the sign which just has our little like saying where a horse can be a horse. And then we have a little we offer sign and then some trees. And there's a security camera and some little like signs. And then here's our mailbox, which opens. And then there's also a like little flag that comes up. And there is actual mail in there, but I won't get into it. Then here are the gates and they do actually have a little like lock that opens and they do have hinges. And just behind that front entrance, we have this flag, which does, um, you can like pull it up and pull it down. And then here we have our bunny hutch. We actually have a couple bunny hutches, but this is the first one. And you can see all these doors do open, so it's got two levels. Here's a plant and then a little bench where Natalie is sitting and we have some signs and stuff. Then this is our DIY tack room. Um, I call it that because this is where I keep most of the tack that isn't assigned to a specific rider or horse, but is tack that I've made myself. So like this dressage saddle, like it isn't really assigned to one person in particular, one horse in particular, but it isn't briar tack. But honestly, at this point, I don't use any real briar tack except for a couple bridles. So I don't really know why I call this the DIY tack room because they're kind of all DIY tack rooms. But it has a clock and then in there is some like lunging equipment and stuff. And then some other little supplies that is Sasha getting a bridle and then a bulletin board and then this whole wall of saddles. I won't go through all the bridles, but like 95% of them are made by me. And then there's like a couple that I bought on Etsy. Over here, we have some like vet storage equipment and there's like a couple layers of boxes in there. There is Timothy the garter snake. And then here we have Diesel's shed. So Diesel has his regular halter and lead rope and then a show halter. And then here is his little gate um, and then his stall, which has like a salt lick and stuff. Then over here, there's a little tack box and some little grooming equipment. And then here's our little garden with a chicken and a couple other chickens. I'm gonna go through all of the horses' names, um, even if it's a little bit slow, just cause I know a lot of people like to see everything. So. I have pretty much all of them memorized, but bear with me if I get a little stuck. This is Heartfire, AKA Henry, Prince of the Arena, AKA Sebastian, Collision Course, AKA Cameo, Cleveland Calamity, AKA Captain, Case of the Mondays, AKA Biscuit, Misty Morning, AKA Misty, Beach Baby, AKA Baby, and Dash of Class, AKA Dot. And this barn has a sliding door. Then here we have our biggest pasture and over here is Fred and his pony firecracker. That's Tricky Woo, AKA Tricky, Ghostbuster, AKA Buster, um, Clam Chowder, AKA Chowder, Jiminy Cricket, AKA Cricket, Paprika, AKA Pepper, Watch the Hips, AKA Elvis, Afternoon Delight, AKA Alf, and Caligula's Incitatus, AKA Rome. Back here, we have our little truck and trailer driveway. So this would be where you pull up to unload your horse. 
um, and a little chicken coop and I need to put some sky paper back there but I haven't yet. While we're over here let's move up to the Shire shelf. Here we have our little trash and recycling bins and they actually do have like boxes and the other one has little trash bags. Then there's the gate and the hose back there. Um, and then there's like a little jolly ball, their run. This is a little shed. Here is Unstoppable Force, AKA Atlas. And then over here is Titanic Warfare, AKA Titan. And then this is kind of their like stable area that they can just come into whenever they need to. And they have a hay net and some water and stuff. So now if we return over here, this is our three horse barn. This one has swinging doors. And then in here is American Justice, AKA Justice, Lateral Confusion, AKA Eclipse, and Winter is Coming, AKA Blitz. That's Heather and her friend Callie, and Heather owns Eclipse. And the stalls in here are sliding doors. Here is Morgan's tack box. And you can see she has a little hoof print that Heather made of Eclipse's foot. Um, and some chocolate and a little toy horse. On this side of the barn, we have some tack storage. This is my little Valentine's Day set, a little dressage set for Megan, and then Petra's tack stays there. Um, her saddle's being used right now, but then here we have some grain and our little sign and some turnout charts. And then in front of this barn, there's like a little trellis and stuff and a security camera. Then coming over to this side of the barn, there's a hanging plant and just some tack storage and some tack boxes. There's another cat that I painted on live a while ago. And down here is Russell's electroshock therapy treatment stuff. Then over here is our other pretty big pasture. This is Jasmine, aka Jazz, Luna de Miel, aka Honey, CJ Close Call, aka Cliff, One in a Million, aka Snips. Pictures Please, aka Rotsi. Kit Kat's Chat is the Palomino. And then there's Red Glint, aka Ruby. And then over here they have water and um, a little squirrel house. So then over here we have our two pony barns. This is where our boarded ponies stay. And then this is where our lesson ponies stay. In here we have the little pony tack room with a bunch of stuff. And then there's a little box of saddle pads in the back. And then up here, this is Watch the Stars Come Out, aka Firecracker Stall. And then this is Tell Me a Secret, aka Panda. There's some random storage up there too, but that's not very important. Here is our pig and her three piglets. And then they have some like mud and all kinds of fun stuff. Um, and then here is just some rocks and a little bird feeder and some plants. In the main pony barn though, we have some bridles and a little info board. And over here is some grain for them. This is Ain't Misbehaving, aka Altivo. This is CJ Close Call, aka Cliff Stall. That is Chocolate Smudge, aka Rolo. And here is Sleepy Time Tea, aka Waffle. This is Penelope, aka Penny. And Oscar Meyer Hot Dog, aka Oscar. And then Mr. Outlaw, aka Bandit. And then these guys all have little windows they can hang their heads out of. Same with the other barns we were just talking about. Here is our barn manager, John, and then our Western trainer, Will, on the four-wheeler. And this four-wheeler I made myself. And it looks like that. I really love the four-wheeler. Then this pasture is where I keep all of the horses that are rearing or kicking or just generally not really stall behavior horses. So here we go. That's Jump in the Gun, aka Bullet. This is El Diablo, aka Diablo. This is La El Latigo Negro, aka Latigo. This is Bamboozled, aka Boo. This is Collision Course, aka Cameo. And this is Baby's Nymph, aka um, Calypso. And then over there is the really chill one. His name is On Top of the World, aka Oliver. I never really know what to do with horses that are posed like this. So I always just have them in the pasture, but I feel like I should use them for something. So if you have ideas, please drop them in the comments because I don't even know what to do with them. Over here is Jamie's Mustang Makeover Horse, Reflective Mystery, AKA Opal. And she's in the round pen, which um, just opens up like this. And it's like freshly dragged right now. So it looks really nice. And then in here we keep our lunge lines and obviously some plants and a mounting block. This is Sydney. 
Hi, Sydney. And she's watching Good Looking Gizmo, aka Gizmo, who's our cutting horse. Over here, we have our wash stall, which has a working pump and a little hose attachment, which is literally the cutest thing ever. Um, and then over here, we have a little dog house and our shed. Here is John's tool shed. And as you can see, it's got this little chain, but you can just open it up like that. I have a whole video on my Instagram of how I made that shed. So if you're more interested in getting a better look at that, go check that out. Now we're to the big barn. So let me get through that. Here's Harper and Devin, and then that's Harper's tack trunk and Natalie's tack trunk. And then over here, they have a little whiteboard and some dog food and a trash can. There is where Abby keeps her Western tack. And then that's Devin's um, brush kit on top. And then here's some wash stall equipment, like some towels and sponges. This is Twist and Shout, AKA Twist, and that's Bella. And I truly can't remember her show name for the life of me right now. Here's Whisper Kisses, AKA Kiss. And then this is Paris by Night, AKA Pierre's stall. Here I have my incredibly messy jump storage and more back there, but back there's a little bit more empty. And then there's Pierre's tack and a bunch of other stuff put in storage bins. Out front of Kiss's stall is where Nadia is sitting, who's our intermediate trainer. And there we have just a little bench and some feed and stuff. And then there's Ted's dog and one of, that's Ted's dog. And then this is um, just a barn dog. Here is Moonlight Moonbeam, AKA Luna's stall and her goat friend, Matilda. There's Maggie's stall. And then this is Arizona Firebird, AKA Phoenix's stall. And then this is a bunch of Abby's stuff because she owns both these horses. She keeps all her stuff in the middle. Well, not all her stuff. You'll come to find there's a ton of Abby stuff all over the barn. <laughs> here is Anna's horse, Sir Cantalot, AKA Charlie. And then over here is Morning Rose, AKA Rose and her little foal. I believe that foal was sired by a stud from Digital Horse Like Creations. I'm not 100% sure about that though. It's here is Monopoly Man, aka Parker, and then this is where Hello Mr. President, aka Georgie, lives. Here is my not very cute jump storage, just because I realistically have a ton of arena obstacles and stuff. And then over here we have a little dog and cat food, oh, broken cabinet, um, that just has their little feeding schedule and stuff on it. Then over here we just keep all of our dogs' harnesses. And then here is Mr. Saturday Night, AKA Marcus. And this is Chocolate Moose, AKA Moose, who is Sydney's eventing horse. Here's Victoria's locker, Fred's locker, Abby's absolutely stuffed locker, and Jamie's absolutely stuffed locker. And then I just have this little horse, like miniature canvas thing I made um, on a little easel, which I think is so cute. And a little guitar. And then at the end of this aisle is the lounge, which is really messy and I really need to redo, but it has a little trophy case and some briars and some cat stuff. And this is kind of what it looks like. Up here we have the camp loft where we do our sleepaway camps. So this is just where we have our bunk beds and our like luggage and stuff. Here we have a mini game of Hungry Hungry Hippo. So that's what this looks like. Then we have two other lofts on this barn. This is our blanket loft, which is just every single blanket for every single horse. There's like 120, 102, 130 in here. So it's really, really stuffed, obviously. And then on this end of the barn, we have our loft tack room, which is all of the tack or most of the tack that's assigned to a horse. The saddles on this side and then bridles there and then over here is a little info board and a couch kind of random but this couch is so comfortable like i would love to sit on it if i was a doll in happy valley staples i would always be taking a nap on that couch <laughs> over here we have our little fountain with a little snapping turtle and then here we have a hose which has a working spout by which I mean you can turn it. No actual water comes out, but um, and it has a little hose attachment too. Then over here is our little bedding shed with like wheelbarrows and stuff for cleaning stalls. And then this roof um, is our little metal roof and they have a little ladder to repair it. Over here then we have our cow shed, which doesn't actually house any cows. 
I pretty much originally refinished that barn. It was a gift from a friend, like they had had it and then we're gonna get rid of it. And I was like, oh, I would like that. So I refinished it, but it was gonna be a cow shed. And then I moved horses in before I got any cows. And uh, then when I did get, get a cow, I moved him into his own shed. So now it's just the cow shed with horses in it. <laughs> so this is where Little Red, AKA Russell, and Cover Girl, AKA Chloe live. And then here is Angelina's stuff for Russell, like her saddle and his supplements. This is our back pasture, and that is Paris by Night, AKA Pierre, and winning the lotto, AKA Otto. Here is our feed room, which is spectacularly messy. I think it's so fun and just full to the brim with stuff. Here are some mini smart packs and um, a whole other assortment of supplements and grains and treats and feed charts and all of that fun stuff. And then over here we have our dumpster, which is filled with little trash bags. Okay, now I'm gonna go over to this middle section. Here's a little Adirondack chair. And then this is Don't Look Down, AKA Danny, Blue Ribbon Fever, 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 <laughs> blue ribbon fever, aka Rio, and then the sky's the limit, aka Sky. And this is um, the first of our two British barns. I call them British barns because they're kind of modeled after that style of stable where all the horses are facing out to a center courtyard. And then down here we have another little working spout and a little hose. Over here we have the locker room, and it actually doesn't have any lockers in it. So I don't really know why it's called the locker room. It's, it came to replace what actually was the locker room filled with lockers. Um, and I just kind of remodeled it and it somehow ended up with no lockers. So <laughs> sorry, but this is what the outside looks like. It's got the Happy Valley sign. That's Petra and she's petting a cat modeled after Crumble the Cow, who's one of my um, model horse friends, cows. Then this is the locker room. So this is Shelby's spot, Anna's spot, Ted's stuff, Heather's stuff, Kristen, Fiona, Maggie, Sydney, and Megan's. And then this center table is just some like spare saddle pads, um, Callie's old saddle, some drinks, some bell boots, etc. And then on the under part of that shelf is just some like fly sprain things. So the layout is kind of that so that each person has room for two saddles or, you know, a saddle and a whatever else, and then a little tack box underneath for all their stuff. Then outside there, there's this little rock um, and some little cacti and watermelon and stuff. This little thing of watermelon I actually got at a like local market and it's the cutest thing ever. I also got these apples from the same place. This is the six horse barn and let's just go through the horses. So that's King Stepper, AKA King. That's Black Angel, AKA Devil. Then here we have Hopscotch Hot Socks, AKA Holly and her full Missy. Um, and Missy's show name is Holly's Hot Girl. Um, but Shelby's cleaning out that stall right now. And then over here we have Princess of My Heart, aka Jasmine, who's Megan's second horse. Um, here's Sir Isaac Newton, aka Newton. And then this is Juniper Tree, aka Juniper. As you can see, King has a ton of ribbons. And then there's a little stereo. And then there's a little tack box from Megan and some other goodies in here. And this is what this wall looks like. So it's got these little shutters that are so cute. Then over here is the four horse barn, which actually houses six horses because it's been updated since it was originally built. But we just still call it the four horse because there's obviously another six horse barn. Here is another one of our bunny hutches. And then this door slides. This is the switch to the solar panel lights, which are really small. And then there's additional fairy lights in there. Each of these stalls has a sliding door and a little chain so that they can stand there and a little hook for their halter and stuff. Here is Fletcher and Nala. And then there is Walk Down Wall Street, AKA Jax. That is Jumping to Conclusions, AKA Jimmy, Go Get Em, AKA Toby. 
and Just Because, aka Jeremy. Then moving over here, we have our second British barn. This is what this side of the barn looks like. Here we have Pacific Magic Koi, aka Koi, Astronomer's Love, aka Astro, Nighttime Dreamer, aka Dreamer, and her foal who was sired by an Instagram account. I'm blanking on their username, but I'll put it on screen. This is Chicago Heart, aka Roxy, and then this is Perfect Lullaby, aka Pandora's Stall. So this is what this looks like. They all have their little hooks with their halters. Then here is our little tack room. This is really little and it mostly just has bridles in it. So you can just see we have some bridles and stuff. In that chest is some half pads. And then we just have a collection of bell boots and spurs and a little GoPro. Here is Hopscotch Hot Socks, AKA Holly, and Holly's Hot Girl, AKA Missy. Then over here is the stud barn. There are some little signs here and some rocks. And then this is what the inside looks like. That is Counting My Carbs, AKA Keto, Caramel Sensation, AKA Carl, Northern Lights, AKA Nero, Lionheart, AKA Simba, Sergeant Hoofbeat, AKA Simon, and King of Sound, AKA Prince. Then we have these two grooming stalls and here, if we move her, you can see they have all of their halters. Everything in here is organized by color. So like Keto's stuff has a red lead rope, etc. There is one of our student trainers, Molly. And then here is a little info board and a little utility sink. Then to this side, we have another little pasture. This is Blue Suede Shoes, AKA Blue, Rosie, Miss Cinders, AKA Molly, and Leonardo, aka Leo. That brings us over to our first arena. This is the lesson arena and it's a square and it's fairly small. Over here is Anna riding Catch the Wind, aka Chester. This is Kristen riding Sky Full of Stars, aka Orion. And then here is our beginner trainer, Stacy her student trainer, Morgan, and Morgan's friend, Lana. And then here is Mia riding Sky's the Limit, AKA Sky. And then over here is Mary Ann riding Perfect Lullaby, AKA Pandora. So they're just having a little like beginner lesson. And in this corner is another cat that I pinned on live. He's so cute. <laughs> okay, so now I've completed all of the stuff that is on the actual floor and then i'm gonna do the stacks so i have two barns here and then the other two arenas and the little viewing area up here right above the four horse barn is the nine horse barn and this is just kind of what it looks like if you give it a little overview it has a little door on this side and then this is Mia's tack box and some other random stuff. And then there's Anna's tack box. And here is where we keep Isla's bridle and some boots. This stall is Catch the Wind, AKA Chester stall. Then there's Sonic Boom, AKA Sonic. All the way in the back corner is Just My Style, AKA Joy. Then this is Flower Power, AKA Daisy's stall. That's Bail Me Out, AKA Badge. Bumblebee Humblebee, aka B, Just Ahead of the Curve, aka Joker. Then this is It's a Long Story, aka Isla. And then here is Good Looking Gizmo, aka Gizmo Stall. There's a bunch of dogs around and a little cat, but this one in the pink harness is Bubble, who is Abby's dog. Now this barn also houses nine horses, but we call it the seven horse because like the four horse, it used to have seven stalls and now has nine. So let's first do the office, which is actually attached to the barn. Here is the little office. That's Gail's desk. You can see she's got a bunch of papers and notes and stuff, a little sandwich. Um, then over here we have a little fish tank and some Briar magazines. And here is Miss Jackson's desk. You can see she's also got some stuff she's working on. There is Miss Jackson's dog and then a little cat. And in the corner, there's a little filing cabinet, a picture of Gail on a horse when she was little, and just some other stuff. So I'll just give you an overview. Here's a better look at the fish tank. 
It's got that little door and then her little mailbox. Then over here, there's this potted plant that I made and a little stone path over to the entrance to the barn. Here is another cat I painted on live. I'm absolutely obsessed with her. She's so cute. Here are some little um, like fake Amazon boxes I made with my Froggy Stuffs um, PDFs that you can print yourself. They're so cute. I would highly recommend. Next to the boxes, we have a little whiteboard and a plant. And then over here, we have some little signs and then our two windows. Up this ladder is just a little loft storage area, which has Callie's locker, some cat carriers, some like wraps and stuff, um, a bunch of storage for like old halters, travel sheets, fly masks, and some big tack boxes. Okay, this is Champagne Heartache, AKA Casper, Long Distance Call, AKA Calvin, Busy Winning, AKA Bingo, Science Saves the Day, AKA Einstein, Samantha May, AKA Sammy, and then here is Scrambled Pancakes, AKA Bug, Lavender Dreams, AKA Lilac, Starlight, AKA Star, and Delilah O'Lila, AKA Lila. And then here's her foal. I don't believe her foal has a name, but they are sired by a horse on here. I will put their Instagram account on the screen. Okay, so now I'm at the show ring, which is kind of opposite um, where we just were. Here we've got some jump storage. This is where I mainly store like fill, so like little fences and stuff, a little Happy Valley jump. Um, then there's a little block to get on, a lunge whip, a mailbox for our trail classes with some little mail in there. <laughs> and um, over here is our judge box, which has some donuts and all the stuff a judge needs. Then here's the show arena. This is Fiona riding her cousin's horse, Hello Mr. President, aka Georgie. And as you can see, she has some raised poles out. There's a mirror and a bunch of ads along the wall. And then the Happy Valley sign and a clock. And then over here is a little sales tent for our shows. As you can see, there's a bunch of different stuff you can buy. Then there's some more ads on the walls and some bleachers to sit on. And then here we have like little rankings for like a show series. These can actually come out and be swapped. Finally, let's go over to our main outdoor arena. This is our little viewing area of the arena. And as you can see, this is Victoria and her friend Maggie, who are just watching the horses ride right now. Then there's a little tripod. And here is Abby riding Cleveland Calamity, AKA Captain. Here is our little attachment for the four wheeler to drag the arenas and a little hand rake and our fountain. In this corner, there's a little mounting step stool, which just opens up like that. I am obsessed with it right now. Here is Ted riding Flower Power, AKA Daisy. And this is Always and Forever, AKA Infinity, being ridden by Jamie. And here is Eric, who is our hunter jumper trainer. Over here is the judge box, which just has all the judge stuff in there and then here's a little trainer chair and that's what the arena generally looks like all right guys i had so much fun making this video and going through all of the parts of hvs it's been such a massive project people ask me all the time how long i've been working on this and this is year seven so it definitely did not start out this big or this well planned or this extensive at all i would definitely suggest that everybody try building a barn if they can you don't need a big space and you can do a really small setup I think it's just so much fun and it's really rewarding as a collector to do this for not necessarily all of your models, but some of them. So I've had so much fun through the years. This has been so rewarding for me. And now as I'm going to college, I'm definitely going to miss it, but it will still be here and I will still have all of my model horse friends and all of the incredible memories I've made. 
Thank you for bearing with me through this very long video. That's always what I say when people ask for a full barn tour. I say, well, it would take a really long time. And honestly, I am glad I did it though. Like I definitely like having it all in one place like this. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope it wasn't too boring. <laughs> Have a good day and thanks for watching.